In this video, we're going to look at how we can add shapes or clip art from Keynote's internal library on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Basically, what we can do is, instead of using outside clip art, Keynote on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone has its own internal library of hundreds of different shapes. We can go from a draft to a rabbit to a tree to symbols to education, arts. We can search that clip art. And then once we add it to our Keynote document, we can format it. We can change the color of it. We can add an outline to it. And then if we want to get real creative, we can even combine different shapes together to create our own shape and save it in that same library. So then we can access it later on in a new document. Now I created this using Pages, but Keynote works basically the same way. This lesson was created with Pages, but it works the same way in Keynote. So even though I'm going to show you how it works in Pages, all you have to do is just access the Shape Toolbar on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone, and you're going to have the same exact tools. You go to Arrange to combine them. You go to Format to style it. So again, I'm going to show you how it's done in Pages, but you can use the same exact method in Keynote. Let's see how we can search for our different shapes, format them, and even create our own shapes in Keynote by using Pages. Let's go over to my Mac. So I have here a blank Pages document. I want to add a shape. Let's say I wanted to add a shape of an animal. All I need to do is just go up to Shape here in the menu bar. And when I click on it, you're going to see I have a number of different shapes here. I have them all categorized. So I'm going to go over to Animals. And here we can see we have a number of different animals. I can even search. Let's say I wanted to search for a giraffe. This is my wife's favorite animal. So now all I need to do is just click on this, and we can see it added it to my document. I can make it larger and smaller. I can even style it. I want to make it a different color. I just go over to my colors here, and I can change the color. I want to add a line to it, or a border. I just click on the border here, and I can add a border to it. Let's go and add another shape. This time we're going to go and add a rabbit. Click on the rabbit here, and now we can see we have my rabbit. I just place it down at its feet here, and we have my rabbit. Again, I can style it. I can add a border to it. Now, in addition to these different clip art shapes, and we have a number of different clip art shapes, I can also create my own. I can combine these. I'm going to delete these. Now let's go and create my own crescent moon. To do that, I just go to shape here, and we're gonna go with basic circle. So I have my basic circle here. Let's make this a little bit larger. Now what I do is I go and add another one, Let's change the color of it so I can see the difference here. We're going to make it a little bit larger. And what I want to do is make this a crescent moon. So basically what I want to do is I just want to have this black part here. So I need to erase the blue part here. So I'm going to combine these two shapes. How do we do that? Well, basically all I have to do is just select them. We can see that I have them selected here. And then what we do is we go over to Arrange. Under Arrange, we have a number of different tools down towards the bottom. I can unite them, intersect them, subtract them, or, let's move that out of the way there, exclude them. So let's take a look at these four different options. When I unite them, it's going to make one shape. Let's go ahead and unite them. And now we can see we have one shape. It's just a little bit oblong there. I'm going to undo. When I intersect them, what it's going to do is it's going to create a new shape based on where they are intersected. Click on it, and now we can see we have a little skinnier circle there. I'm going to undo. I can subtract them. This is where I have my crescent moon, so it's subtracting one shape from another. And then I can also exclude them. And now it's excluding where they intersect. Again, what I want to do is make a crescent moon out of it, so I just go to subtract, and now we have my crescent moon. I can move this around, I can reshape it, 
I want to save this as my own shape so that I can use it later on. What I do is I click on it and then I control click on it, hold down the control key and click so I have my contextual menu and then you're going to see save to my shapes. Select it and then we have a new category here called my shapes. I go and name it and now if I ever want to add this to another document I can go and find it under my shapes. And then the last thing I want to mention I can also add bezier curves to it so I want to modify this shape. All I do is just select it, I hold down the control key and click and then we go and make it editable and we can go and add bezier curves to it. And then what I'm able to do is save this as a new shape. So I just click on it, control, and I can save this to my new shapes. We can do the same thing on the iPad and iPhone. Let's go over to my iPad. I have a blank document here. I go up to the plus here. We can see we have all of my different categories here. So I can select any one of these categories or shapes from these categories and I can style it. And then I can also create my own shapes. So we're going to go to basic here. We'll go to the square. Let's make it blue. Now let's go with a circle. Let's make this a little bit smaller here so it just fits in there. And now what I'd like to do is combine these. How do we do that? I select them both. They're both selected. And then I need to go to my Arrange Tools. So I go up to Format, we go over to Arrange, and then down at the bottom we have my Combine Shapes. From here I can intersect them, I can overlap them, I can combine them. Let's go ahead and subtract them. You can see that we subtracted that circle from my square. And then if I want to save this as a new shape, I control click and I can add it to my shapes. On the iPhone it basically works the same way. It's a little bit more tricky just because you're using a smaller display. But I'm in pages here, I tap on the plus, I go to shapes, I have all of my different clip art here. I can add them, I can style them, format them, add a border, change the color, and then if I want to combine them I go to my different shapes I want to combine. We're going to go with rounded corner, Let's go and make this one blue, and let's add a circle. We'll go outside there. Now I need to combine them or select both of them. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. To select both of them, what I need to do is tap on one. I'm going to move it outside here a little bit. And then as I tap and hold on that one, what I'm able to do is tap on the other one. And now they are both selected. Now what I can do is I can go to the Format tool, and I can go to Arrange, and then if I swipe up, I have my combined shapes. I'm going to combine them, and now I have my new shape. I want to add that to my library, to my clip art. All I have to do is just tap and hold. Whoops, went out of the way there. I tap and hold on it. We get our little menu, and then from here what I'm able to do is add it to my shapes. And as you can see, they do sync across all of the different devices. So you can add a shape on one device and you'll be able to use it on all of your other devices. So that's how we add shapes or clip art as well as format them or even create our own shapes with Keynote. Again, I know I showed you in Pages, but it works the same exact way in Keynote. All you have to do is just go to your toolbar and you'll see shapes from there. You're going to be able to search for your different shapes. You can format it under the format menu and then you can go to arrange to combine them. So that's how we can add clip art or shapes, format those shapes, and even create our own shapes in Keynote.